Welcome to Library Life. I'm Amanda Jackson, Director of the Chesapeake Public Library, and with me today is Jennifer Luck. Welcome, Jennifer. Hi, how are you today? I'm good. Thanks for being with us. These are so cool. So there is like a whole bunch of different library cards on my table, all kinds of years. I mean, like this one's from like the 70s, I believe. I believe so. It's before my time, that's for sure. So why do I have all these? I got to turn them right side up though. So you have these because this um, month in September, we will be celebrating Library Card Sign Up Month, which is a national effort with the American Library Association to get library cards in the hands of children. It happens in September because it coincides with school starting. Um, and so we thought it would be nice to show you the different kinds of library cards that Chesapeake Public Library has had throughout the years and um, let you know that all of the children in Chesapeake Public Schools have an account with the Chesapeake Public Library for free. That is really exciting and a great point because we're one of the few libraries in our area that does that. So we provide all Chesapeake Public School students free library cards, and they're not physical cards, so they're not like this. No. They're attached to their student ID number, that number they have to memorize in kindergarten. Yes. So you, if uh, I, I love it when people come into the library and they find stuff they want and then they go, oh man, I forgot my library card, and they've got a student with it. I'm like, you've got a library card. And a lot of times they didn't even know that, but they can access all of our resources too. They really can, and when they don't know it, a lot of our staff will just say, do you remember your lunch number? And then they know it right off the top of their head. And it's a, it's a great experience seeing them be able to check out items that they didn't think that they would be able to check out because they didn't have a library card. Um, and so that's all they have to do is come in and put in their lunch number. Yes, and then I'll call it, you do require a PIN number, Yes, but we made that easy to remember too. It's the first two digits of the month and day of your birth. Yes. So if you were born on October 27th, it will be 1027. Correct. And if you were born in May, because it could be difficult to remember, it's a 05. So make sure you put that zero in there. And that gives them access to our physical resources, but also they can access all of our digital resources from home too. Yes, and our digital resources are available on the website. And they just, like again, they just need their library card um, account information, and that would be their student ID and their lunch number. <laughs> Um, but also, we wanted to highlight that in September, when we launched Library Card Sign Up Month, that we are also launching our I Designed a Library Card contest, which we have done for three years. Um, and we have several winners that um, have made it through the contest throughout the years. And um, this year, it'll run from September 1st through October 31st. And applications will be available for everybody at um, any Chesapeake Public Library, as well as on the website. Um, and, you know, we, we hope to have a lot of entries. We've had several, we've had almost 300 um, last year and in the past, um, a total of over 500 applicants. So we're excited to start that again in September. So this part is really exciting. I love this and I've got these two because they're just adorable. And you break it out into age groups. So we have our young artists and then we have our more mature artists. So if yes. you've been doing art for quite some time, you're an adult, you want to participate in this program, this is a great way to do it. But if you're a little one and you're just starting out and you really love to draw, this is another great way. Yes, it's, um, we want to bring forward the aspect of arts and, and culture in our, in our community. And this is one way that we can get our community to participate with the library and creating our library cards. It's so much fun and they're all so unique. So once they go in, once they've submitted their designs, we actually, the library vets them and chooses a few, but then the public gets to vote on them too. Yes, the vote, the public gets to vote in-house and on Facebook, and um, it lasts for a whole week, and it's great to see all of the community um, show their support for the different artists. We usually have about 12 finalists, and um, it's just an amazing outpour of support for the artists on our um, voting. We've had probably over a 1,000 votes for just one contest. That's fantastic, and it is. It's so much fun because there's such a variety of submissions. It's not always the same type. Sometimes they have books, sometimes they have animals. This one looks like a paint can. I just mm -hmm. love it, it's so cool. So yeah, so we can, you know, during the month of September, you're gonna be doing some outreach to yes. provide library card sign up op 
opportunities? Yes, yeah, so our outreaches will be at the farmer's market at City Park um, the first three Saturdays of the month. And then we're also going to do some outreaches in October for library card sign up month, month even though it's in September, um, at the Hickory Ridge Farm um, stand. And we will be giving out our fun cards. Um, the fun cards are a way for you to try out Chesapeake Public Library resources for free. And if you love them, then you can upgrade those to an e-card and keep your account. And if you love it even more, you can come in and get a traditional library card. Yeah, these are awesome. I really appreciate these fun cards because they do. We're able to take them out to our outreaches and expose people to the services the library has, but they don't have to make a commitment yet. But you're definitely going to be committed after you get it. You're going to like, oh, you're going to love it. So you're going to need to get that permanent card. But this is just a fun card. You're out at City Park. We're doing a huge event. You can take this with you. You can explore our online resources. And then you're going to want to go into a physical location and get a real one once you see how cool we are. Yes, definitely. Um, and you would get that physical one if you want to check out our actual items, including our library of things, our books, our DVDs. However, if you're not able to come in, you can call us and we will upgrade that to an e-card. So there's a lot of different ways that you can engage during Library Card Sign Up Month in September. A lot of different ways that you can participate in being the next artist on our library card. That's true. And it will be for the entire year. And you'll find that on our website, chesapeakelibrary.org. Yes, ma'am. Or you could go into a branch and our you staff will be to happy to help you. Yes, they, they will. Well, thank you for being with me today, Jennifer. I appreciate this. This is so gorgeous. I can't wait to see what submissions we have this year. Oh, I'm excited to see these submissions. They're, they're always amazing. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Library Life. Have a great day.